Hello everyone. Today's video is the last part of the series on Math PSLE 2018 Paper 2. It is on question 16 and 17. Part 5 is on question 14. I believe you are aware of this smart strategy that I am always adopting. Okay, let's move straight on to question 16. Lily saved $60 in February and this $60, this amount, was actually more 20% increase from January. Now, I always like to represent the percentage increase, percentage decrease using line graph. Okay, so looking at the first two sentences again, February is an increase. So the line graph should look like this. So this is January, which is always 100%. And this is our February, which is 120%. Why? Because the increase is 20%. Okay, so it's easily understood. Now, $60 is stacked to February. So this is our $60, meaning we can find our 100%, the one that Lily saved in January. So that will be 60 divided by 120 times 100. That gives us $50. So let's annotate a little further. All right, so this is the information that we have. Okay, let's move on to the next sentence involving March. Now, the amount that she saved in March was a decrease. So the line graph drops. So this is March and this must be February. Okay, so February is the brand new 100% and there's a decrease of 15%. That means March must be 85%. Right, so February being the new 100%, it is still our $60. So this is our February. So let's find out what is March. March is our new 85%. So that will be 60 out of 100 times 85 over 1 and get give us $51. And this is for the month of March. Okay, from these two line graphs, we should be able to answer question A. Question A, what was the total amount that Lily saved from January to, February, to March? So we want to find out all the three months savings. So in January, she saved $50. In February, $60. In March, $51. So the three months, she saved a total of 161. So part A is done. To do part B, we are supposed to find the percentage increase. That means we have to find the difference between March and January. Out of the base January times 100%. Now, March, she saved $51. January, $50. Out of the original 100% base of $50, then times 100%, that gives us 2%. Okay? Alright, so part B is done. Okay, let's move on to the next slide, question 17. In a shop, candles are sold only in boxes. A box of seven short candles costs 250. 
a box of candles, five long candles cost 320. So it's either the shorter version, which is seven candles, a box of seven, or the long ones, which is a box of five. But the pricing is different. Okay, so we are aware of the two different types of boxes of candles. A. Then once 19 short candles and three long candles for his lanterns. What is the least amount of money that Dan will need to spend on the candles? So one more time, he needs 19 short ones and three long ones. So if you look at the boxes of short candles, it is in multiples of seven. 19 is not a multiple of seven. So the closest multiple of seven is in this case, 21, right? So she, that means to do part A, right? Then needs to have 21 short ones and three long ones, right? But the box that has long ones, he has to buy one box of five, okay? So like that. So he needs 21 short candles and five long candles in order to use them for his lanterns. Okay, so the multiples of seven, we need 21 short candles. For the multiples of five, it's just nice. We just That means he needs to buy a total of three large, sorry, three small boxes and just one long boxes okay so three times 250 plus 320 that gives us a total of 1070 so part a is easily completed to do part b we have another character. Eva bought 21 more long candles than short candles. Okay, so the long one is 20, so long and short. The long one is 21 more. Okay, all right. Now, going back to our multiples of seven and multiples of five again all right so the long candles should be more than the short candles so if she bought seven okay or rather one box of short candles that is seven in quantity okay let's say i write down here one box of short candles There are seven of them, seven short ones. If you add 21, because the difference is 21, she must have 28 long candles. Uh, no, we don't have 28 in the multiples of five. Right, so that means she cannot buy one box of short candles. Okay, let's move on to the next multiple. So let's say two boxes of short candles. So two times seven that gives us fourteen. Buys another twenty-one must be twenty-one more, right? That gives us thirty-five. And hooray, thirty-five is a multiple of five. Right, so this one cannot. This one correct. Okay, so in other words, Eva she bought two boxes of short candles and seven boxes of long candles. Okay, let's find out how much she has to pay. 
Okay, so for the two boxes of short candles, it's 250 a box. Two boxes means times two. Now, then for the long candles, it is 320 a box and she has to buy seven. So if you add up all this, 250 times two, that gives us $5. And 320 times seven, that gives us $22.40. If you add up these two amount, she should pay $27.40 in order to get 21 more long candles than short candles. So part B is done. We have finally completed the entire series on PSLE 2018 paper 2. Okay, this is part six. All right, so in my coming videos, I will be sharing with you PLS, PSLE 2018 paper one, and I'll move back to PSLE 2017 paper two. Now, if you find today's explanation sharing, on question 16 and 17, easily uh, understood, clear. Uh, do remember to click on the like button, share with anyone who wants to know more, and remember to continue to subscribe to my future videos. All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support on all my productions. Thank you once again. Take care. Goodbye.